Hunts in Black, Part 2, by the Grimm Brothers. Well, said the shepherd, if you are so fond of her, I will change my cow for your horse. I like to do good to my neighbors, even though I lose by it myself. Then, said Hans merrily, what a noble heart that good man has, thought he. Then the shepherd jumped upon the horse, wished Hans and the cow good morning, and away he rode. Hans brushed his coat, wiped his face and hands, rested a while, and then drove off his cow quietly and thought his bargain a very lucky one. If I have only a piece of bread, and certainly shall I always able to get that, I can, whenever I like, eat my butter and cheese with it. And when I'm thirsty, I can milk my cow and drink the milk. And what can I wish for more? When he came to an inn, he halted, ate up all his bread, and gave away his last penny for a glass of beer. When he had rested himself, he sat off again, driving his cow towards his mother's village. But the heat grew greater as soon as noon came on, till at last, as he found himself on a white heath that would take him more than an hour to cross. He began to be so hot and parched that his tongue cleaved to the roof of his mouth. I can find a cure for this, thought he. Now I will milk my cow and quench my thirst. So he tied her to the stump of a tree and held his leaden cap to milk into. But not a drop was to be had. Who would have thought that this cow, which was to bring him milk and butter and cheese, was all the time utterly dry? Hans had not thought of looking to that. While he was trying his luck in milking and managing the matter very clumsily, the uneasy beast began to think him very troublesome and at last gave him such a kick on the head as knocked him down. And there he lay a long while senseless. Luckily, a butcher soon came by, driving a pig in a wheelbarrow. What's the matter with you, my man? said the butcher as he helped him up. Hans told him what had happened, how he was dry, and wanted to milk his cow, but found the cow was dry too. Then the butcher gave him a flask of ale, saying, There, drink and refresh yourself. Your cow will give you no milk. Don't you see she's an old beast? Good for nothing but the slaughterhouse. Alas, alas, said Hans. Who would have thought of it? What a shame to take my horse and give me only a dry cow. If I kill her, what will be she good for? I hate cow beef. It is not tender enough for me. If it were a pig now, like that fat gentleman is driving along at his ease, one could do something with it. It would at any rate make sausages. Well, said the butcher, I don't like to say no when one is asked to do a kind neighborly thing. To please you, I will change and give you my fine fat pig for the cow. Heaven reward you for your kindness and self-denial, said Hans. 
as he gave the butcher the cow and taking the pig off the wheelbarrow drove it away holding it by the string that was tied to its leg so on he jogged and all seemed now to go right with him he had met with some misfortunes to be sure but he was now well repaid for all how could it be otherwise with a such travelling companion as he had at last got? The next man he met was a countryman carrying a fine white goose. The countryman stopped to ask what was a clock. This led to further chat, and Hans told him all his luck, how he had so many good bargains, and how all the world felt joyful and smiling with him. The countryman then began to tell his tale and said he was going to take the goose to a christening. Feel, said he, how heavy it is, and yet it is only eight weeks old. Whoever roasts and eats it will find plenty of fat upon it. It has lived so well. You're right, said Hans, as he weighted it in his hand. But if you talk of a fat, my pig is no trifle. Meantime, the countryman began to look grave and shook his head. Hark, yeah, said he. My worthy friend, you seem a good sort of fellow, so I can't help doing you a kind turn. Your pig may get you into a scrape. In the village I just came from, the squire has had a pig stolen out of his sty. I was dreadfully afraid when I saw you that you had got the squire's pig to be continued.